Hi Pisces. Thank you for being here with me. I'm just going to give the cards a few more shuffles here. Find out what the energy is tonight. Okay, one more shuffle, spirits. One more shuffle. These cards are really stiff. Okay, so let's get right into this. Okay, Pisces, we're ready to go. Does Pisces need to know spirit? Knight of Swords. There's a message coming in that's going to change things. Because the next thing we have is the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's sending a message, Pisces. And the Knight of Swords energy. And... It's going to change <clears throat> something very significant in your life with the Wheel of Fortune here. And we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this is someone who cares about facts. They do. But I'm going to clarify it and see what's going on with, with that King of Swords. Got the Ace of Wands, the Empress, Taurus energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini energy with the lovers. Someone's really attracted to you. Very attracted to you. That's what this message is about. What's happening with Pisces? We have the Queen of Wands. The magician. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The magician is here. And I'm seeing an emotional message here. I've got two messengers here. The Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So, I feel like this is a different message than what's showing up here at the beginning of the reading. Okay, so let's start up here with this Knight of Swords and find out who this is. Why is the Knight of Swords here, Spirits? The moon. You're not seeing this coming, Pisces. I have the moon energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the nine of pentacles. So I'm seeing you being single. And then we have the ace of cups. There's like a new beginning in love here. That's showing up in your reading. This is also blessings. I feel like you're going to be blessed. The Nine of Pentacles is some type of material gain. So you could be getting a new job offer. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Four of Swords. We've got that Devil Capricorn energy showing up again. Um, whoever this Knight of Swords is. They're showing up with a message. This could be a Capricorn. I've got the Four of Swords. This message this person is sending, is bringing to you, Pisces, it's like they're going to speak very clearly as to 
you know, they're going to speak facts. And they're not really thinking about what they say before they say it. But I see them coming with truth. But I've got the devil here, so we're going to move on and find out why. King of Wands. Someone very attracted to you. They're wanting to heal a connection with you. But you may have new love. Why is the King of Swords here? We have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy with the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups is complete happiness, complete emotional fulfillment. And I see this person looking at this with you. It's like they're holding on to this with the Four of Pentacles. I have two aces here. Four of Wands. This could be someone that you were married to or that you shared a home with. They're coming in very quickly here. I, I'm seeing like text messages or over the internet messages. Um, they're, they're wanting a new passionate beginning with you. The Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. This person's feeling kind of in, in unstable. Um, trying to think of the the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. I'm. It's like they're feeling unstable with the two of pentacles, and they're trying to balance out their emotions here. It's like I said last night. This is someone who wants to come home. Why is the Empress here? And they see you as their Empress. I'm going to find out why this Five of Swords is here. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Hermit. Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is someone who's spending time alone right now that you have very little to, little to no communication with. And they're reflecting on the past, on what they've done. I feel like there was some really terrible words spoken here that they were in their ego. They could have had addictions with the devil energy. You could be dealing with a Libra with the justice card here. But this person's coming to tell you the truth about something. I'm def definitely seeing truth. And it's like they want a new beginning with you. They want to give you it all with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you... You make this person happy. You make them feel complete. Why is the lover's hair? And with the lover's hair, they're a three-party situation. See? There was an ending to this connection. But the death card is also a rebirth. But I'm seeing them come in with an emotional cup of love and apology. 
because they refused your love in the past. They ignored it. Why is the Queen of Wands here? They see you. They're very, very attracted to you. They think you're really very handsome if you're a man. Very beautiful if you're a woman. See, judgment. There's blocked communication. There's a judgment call being made about this blocked communication and someone feeling left out in the cold. They're coming to take a leap of faith with the Fool card. This could be someone who's manipulative too. Why is the Magician here? I feel like when they make this judgment call and take a leap of faith, Pisces, because I'm seeing them making a judgment call, taking a leap of faith about this blocked communication. They want to bust through this blocked communication and speak to you. And again, it's like this is someone who wants to come home with the Ten of Pentacles. They're in rough waters now. They're wanting to move into calmer water. It's like they're manifesting it. But they're feeling blindfolded. They're feeling confused. The two of swords. It's like one sword going one way, the other sword going the other way. Do I do this or do I do that? Very confused. Because they don't see there's blocked communication. They don't know what's happening over there in, in the calmer water at home. Because with you, they feel at home. They feel comfortable with you. Why is the Page of Cups here, Spirits? This is someone who screwed up really bad. Really, really bad. And now there's a lot of confusion here. This is someone who... It's like they want to give to you. Out of all of the options, like they're looking at all of the options... And they do have other options, you know, but they want you. They want to give to you. They're coming back. It's the Page of Cups. They want to restart this connection. But see, it's going to take strength. It's going to take inner strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. Because right next to strength, I'm seeing them being sneaky, lying, cheating, or stealing. So it's going to take them strength to come and face you. Three of Swords. And plus, they've been gone for a while. It's going, to, it's going to take some courage for them. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Could be dealing with an Aries. This, this Knight of Swords, this Emperor who could have been controlling. I mean, Knight of Pentacles that's been gone for a while. They're coming with truth. I have two aces here. So they're they're wanting to cut through the blocked communication. They're really up in their head about you, thinking about you all the time. They're like in this nightmare energy. And then I'm going to clarify the three of swords here. 
Why is the Three of Swords here? This Three of Swords is here because, I mean, this person left you feeling stuck. Like you didn't have any closure when it, in this connection there was no closure. And so you waited for this person to return. This is someone that you loved. And they gave you no closure. It was a committed relationship. And they just left. And now they're coming back to apologize with truth. I see them coming with truth. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I feel like they're going to give you something. I've seen the Six of Pentacles twice. Yeah. Let's see the Two of Cups. They're coming with a gift. And they're going to tell you they want they want to start over new. They're coming with an emotional message. They want to tell you they love you. You know, they want to heal this connection with you. This is also a reconciliation. Sagittarius energy. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. They see this as a wish fulfillment. There's your energy with the High Priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. There was... Um, see, right in the middle of the two of you is the Page of Pentacles. That's this person showing up with an apology, wanting a new start with you, a new beginning with you. Because there was a complete betrayal here. With ten swords in the back. And so I'm seeing you like really thinking about it here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like you're looking at everything. You can see exactly what happened. Because whoever this person was in this reading, they didn't leave you any closure. It's like they could have left and um, spoken some words, I'm, and which they're up in their head about now. They can't take back. Okay, so let's grab our... Moon Oracle cards. They're called Queen of the Moon Oracle. What does Pisces need to know? And they're telling me to use these. Wisdom and the Masculine. Okay, let's get one more. I'm seeing it's like you have more wisdom now, Pisces. It's like you're starting to see your own strength because you're very strong. Yeah, see, you're very strong. This faith card, this reminds me of the um, Empress. It's like there's growth here around you. You're bringing in new ideas, bringing them to life. And I feel like you've accepted this connection for what it is. And I don't know why the masculine is showing up there. Why is the masculine here?
I have the sun, and so the sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck, and the queen of wands, male or female, this is someone who is very, very attractive. It's like I told you, this person's very attracted to you. They see you as their happiness. This could be um, male or female energy here. What does Pisces need to know? See? Just what we started with. This person's rushing in. They're not thinking about what they're saying before they say it. Because the Nine of Wands is someone who it just wants to get the job done. It's like they'll, they're just going to walk out the door and do what needs to be done. Because they need, they just want it done. They're not taking their time about nothing. They're just like, oh, I just need to go do this and get it over with. And that's why they're coming back and they're not thinking about what they say before they say it. But they're coming with truth because this is someone, um, This is someone that you really make this person happiness, happy. They find their happiness with you. See, they're feeling stuck in their head. You could be dealing with a Scorpio over, over an ending with the death card. This is a self-imposed imprisonment. They're really stuck in their head. And I'm seeing them cutting through it with the Ace of Swords and coming in with communication okay Pisces so let me get you a moonology card what does Pisces need to know it's like I the Pisces you guys right now are being spiritually guided I'm seeing blessings coming in for you. The energy is gaining momentum. And show the world the real you. What does Pisces need to know? So, I don't know if you guys want this person back or not. It's different for everybody. So, um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Communication is key, and emotions are running high, and on the bottom of the deck, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, Pisces, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for watching, and thank you so much for your comments and your messages, and um, buying me coffees. You guys really mean everything to me and for liking and subscribing and I could go on and on but um I send you guys lots of love and light bye Pisces